so hello to everyone this is Shenton Duos here <laughs> and today I'm going to be doing what if Deku was the reincarnation of the nine tail guardian and Sam Wukong yeah still not getting used to calling Jim Mori or Mori Jin Sam Wukong and Ilopio Il 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 Park the nine tail guardian I really don't know why they had to why they had to give two of these characters powers that are basically enemies so i'm going to be naming this what the title of the what if spoilers ahead this i read the manga so if you're not caught up to at least chapter 300 around chapter 300 if you're not caught up to at least chapter 200 or 300 all the way to the 500 chapter i recommend i don't recommend this what if because I'm about to go all the way to the chapter that I'm in right now. I'm basically in chapter 300 or 400 right now. Yes, I read the. I'm reading the whole manga. I really enjoy. It. I'm basically in Mori Don, the Mori Don chapter. And yeah, it's basically something like that. So I won't be. Ex I'll be explaining later why. Why this what if? So basically, I said that I'll be posting this what if after. What if Go what if Isu was the reincarnation of Goku? Nah, sorry. I'm bringing this. So basically, Izuku is going to be, quote unquote, the reincarnation of two people that hated each other before they were reincarnated again. Ilopio Il 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 Park, who is basically the user of the, basically the one who borrowed power from the Nine Tail Guardian. And Jim Mori, Sam, Wu, Sam Wukong, the original reincarnation of Sam Wukong. Basically, these two before before Sam Wukong became known as before became Sam Wukong became known as Mori Jin. He was known as Sam Wukong, which these two hated each other. But then they got reincarnated, and Ilopio Park became an older brother to Jin, to Mori Jin. So now, this is going to be the opposite. They're both going to be older brothers to Izuku. This is going to be a neglected series. I remember someone doing this series. I'm not going to shout out any names. But I'm admitting it right now. The what if didn't make... May, it made sense to me. It made sense to me. But it was funny at the same time. <laughs> he made it different. But uh, this story is going to be neglected as well. So basically, two people that were enemies in the past and then became friends in the future, and then acted like brother, younger brother, and older brother in the future, and are going to become. And this is going to be at the part where the Tabu, which is basically the seal that God put on, that God put on the humans for the their borrow power to be at least lower than ordinary mortal, than ordinary humans should have. So Tajin Park, Tajin no, Tajin Jin. Morijin's grandfather is gonna be reincarnated. As we all know, Mujin Park framed Morijin in the manga, saying that he was the one that started the war and everything in the in the new manga. So basically, Isuku is gonna be the reincarnation of these two. And this one, Il Ilopio Park, is the actual reincarnation of the Nine Tail Guardian. Meaning, Ilopio didn't uh, unlock this power on the same time on the manga. He had his full on power. Meaning he had his hair actually turned long and it was white and everything. So Ilopio was an actual god. And even Jin was an actual part. So Tejin Jin still died by Ma Mujin Park. And but instead of anything happening like that, Tejin Jin was actually reincarnated by Ilo Ilopio Park Ilopio, who was the Nine Tail Guardian user. He used one of his abilities, which I created randomly, to reincarnate people. He basically reincarnated he, uh, Jin's, Mori Jin's grandfather. As Ilopio Park saw that Jin or Mori was about to lose control of his powers because of his grandfather dying, he decided to reincarnate Jin too. But before his powers, he Jin's powers to be uh, sealed away in the pillar or a, a cup that was basically made from the gods that Mujin had it for, for Jin. Ilopio sealed his power 
steal the power of Jin away, reincarnating him into a certain person 17 years into the future. And his two, meaning Elop Elopio Park, the Nine Tail Guardian, sealed himself away with Jin, following Jin in the reincarnation cycle, trying to break the hatred they had between each other. So the hatred was already broken. The Nine Tail, or the Fox, that they once called each other, are they're now one reincarnation, which is Izuku. They're already not friends, so it doesn't really matter. So basically, is so we skipped 17 years later. Mira, Yo, and and basically Mori Jin's friend are now known as the Sage of the East, who has the uh Jade the Jade's the Jade Emperor's powers, the wisdom and the abilities, and we have the Witch of the West. 17 years later. The God of High School Tournament are still going on. Uh, the copy clone, the clone that, pe that was created by the cells of Mori Jin, of Mori, of the clone of Mori, which I can't say his name correct, but I really feel bad about that clone. He was actually a pretty good person. Was still created. Who is, his name is Mor? He, he's basically Mori. I'm gonna call that the clone Mori while Mori Jin is in be stupid. His duke was going to be sealed inside of a crystal 17 years later. No, not 17 years later. 17 years later, Izuku is going to be born into a family which are the Mid Midoriya, but his, he's going to change his name to Mori Jin. Since Izuku was born, his hair, he had a star like eyes in the center. They were like crosses. They were brown and gold like Jin. So he's basically going to look like Mori Jin. Wow. He's gonna have the ability of both of them. So when that story happens, borrow power is basically for the quirkless. Instead of being five percent of the quirk, the quirk, being quirkless, five percent of them have powers, while the rest, which is basically one percent, have no powers. They're basically all quirkless. They learn martial arts. The God of High School tournament is run by UA and other superhero schools, which are now schools that are associated with the world governor or the world leader Mujin Park which is known as the hero <clears throat> quote unquote the real villain who destroyed who actually defeated the real hero Taijin Park Taijin Taijin Jin and Mori Jin they were both the real heroes and Il Ilopio Park instead of instead of deciding to stay and watching the 17 year future he decided to reincarnate himself and Jin, so they don't have to suffer this. So yeah, yeah, yeah. he was a smart person for doing this, <clears throat> even though I'm the one that created them. So basically, so we skip 17 years later. The stage of the West has been looking for Jin for a very, 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 very long time, and Mujin Park has been using all his ex ex executives to keep an eye on the stage of the East and the stage of the West. Which they're basically trying to unlock the break the promise that Jin, who is basically the supreme god, he is still known as, known as the supreme god, made a deal with the go gods of the the war of Ragnarok will happen again. I'm not kidding, it will. The Ragnarok Ragnarok war will happen again. People are still telling story about the war. The war that was won fought by both gods and humans known as... This war was very interesting. People keep saying that this war was pretty... Pretty interesting. But I say it right now. This war... The war of Ragnarok was really interesting. It took... It took... Izu... It took, uh... Mori... At least... A few years. Just... Not a few years, a few a few days, just to get just to get to the to the other world. That is actually just annoying sometimes when you watch them. So now we continue. So then after a few so then after a few months, we see Suku being born with or Mori. I'm gonna call him Mori. So when you guys hear Mori, it's basically Suku. Suku. Mm. Izuku Jin 
<laughs> I can't say that. Mori Izuku. I don't know. Mori Don sounds better than Mori Izuku. So basically, I'm gonna call him Mori Jin for now on. So then, so when I say Izuku, you guys know it's Mori Jin. So basically, when Mori, when Izuku was born, his mom and dad were both Inko Midori and Hasashi Midori. Hasashi Midori had a grandfather who is basically the reincarnation of Ten Tejin Jin, the grandfather of Mori Jin. He he was act the grandfather of Mori Duff Hasashi was actually born. Was actually when he got to his old age, his left arm was ripped off out of a disease that people thought. But he, the reincarnation cycle that Elo Elopio Elopio used was to make uh, Morijin's grandfather to remember everything. So basically, he remember everything about the battle that happened with Ragnarok, and he is so pissed off with M Mujin Park. Mujin Park is basically dead. Mujin Park will be the second person that's gonna die after him. Basically, then the neglecting will start soon. So, so we'll start the what if now. Then, what well, story was already explained? Izuku was born with two more siblings Izumi and. Not just one of these siblings, Izumi. Izumi was basically the favorite child of all of them. She was born. She was born with a borrow power, which, which borrow power was more stronger than than anything else. So then, so that her borrow power was technically a borrow power from. Hmm, <laughs> since I really, since I'm really going to enjoy hating someone for once, I'm basically going to be saying that Izu, that her borrow power is basically a really weak one. She was born with both borrow power. Okay, okay, no, forget about her. no borrow power. She was basically born with. She's basically born with a quirk that is both that is half, that is basically half. Um, it's basically half. It's basically half telekinesis and half nothing. Yes, she has a strong telekinesis work, which does not work <clears throat> against two gods, because we all know the Mantel Guardian was basically what made the Jade what the Jade Emperor fe fears the most. The Jade Emperor feared a fox. We all know a fox from another series, which we all know as the tale of Naruto Uzumaki. Mo mostly everyone feared fear. Every every series that involves a nine tail fox, they all fear the freaking fox. Even in the God of High School, people fear a monkey. And they also fear a fox. Really interesting that two animals that are in real life could be fear <laughs> making them making them mythological gods in the series which we all know Stan Wukong is basically a mythological character from uh from Japan or China I still I don't remember I don't really remember if Wukong was basically from China or Japan if you guys could tell me in the comments which who were they from I'll be glad to know this but I forget. <laughs> I really do forget. I really do forget. I really do. So basically that. So then we start the what if. So then the what if continues. So after that, Izuku was. Izuku is basically four years old. When Izuku was four years old, he had the same hair, the same hair type as Mori. His hair was like that. His eyes were like Mori. He was basically looking like Mori. Until he got old, he had a his eyes instead of turning blue will turn white, which were basically the Monkey King eyes. Which instead of turning white, they will turn all they will go white with the star going blue. The star, the cross eye that Jin mostly has, 
will go blue and the and the inside will be white because as we all know Gila Park Fox form basically makes his eyes go white maybe I need to search it up sorry I need to see if my computer didn't turn it off all right you still hear me okay okay so basically it, I'm looking at a picture of it and I'm thinking I did it wrong sorry sorry I said it wrong the star will be blue while his eyes will be a golden a real light golden they'll go it'll be golden and it'll be and they'll have a star shape that is blue when he goes into his monkey king form and then when he goes into his monkey king form his once dark hair will have white tips white tips and it'll be dark too and then the jacket the armor of the monkey king Instead of having those gold bar around it that we don't know, they see in the thumbnail. No, basically the black thing around it will be will be all red. It will be basically be all a red color. The same thing as you saw on Elopio Park transformation, which is basically his nine tails. They'll be all red, but the dragon will still be seen. Iz Izuku is basically a combination of two beings that are not meant to be combined. Once you combine these two beings, <laughs> you're technically marking the end of the end of the world. The end of the world is being marked. So you're basically marking. So when this when this is marked, everyone was wondering. So basically, when Izuku was born, his mom and dad were still wondering why were his eyes like that. But Hasashi said that, saying that his grandfather was saying something about someone called Morijin. But they all that. But Hasashi, Inko told Hasashi to shut up about that man. He's just a trait. He's the one that started the war of the gods. But then Hasashi was like, no, he wasn't the one that started the god the the god war. But basically. Inka was like, Hasashi, we should stop fighting. We have kids now. As Hasashi said, okay. Maybe we sh maybe we should we should. So basically when So then when he So basically they fought oh, they fought over this because they all fought Hasashi Hasashi already had it a feeling that Izuku reminding him uh reminded him of Mori Jin who is basically who could basically be the reincarnation of Mori Jin and his grandfather was also talking about a kid who had the power the powers of a nine of a nine tail god but he was actually the real nine tail god uh, then every then uh, then basically then Inko ba basically just told them to shut up those two were traitors uh, everyone else, because uh, Hasashi still believe his own grandfather, who basically raised them like a son. So, everyone that did that was really every when everyone saw that that basically he was doing this that. That basically Hasashi was, and Hasashi believed that his own son could be the reincarnation of this, of that traitor, of that traitor. So then. So yeah, let me, so that's why I had it to really explain from Hasashi's background. So Inko might have said that because of your grandfather me thinking of that my son is like this. Inko was saying as Izuku, uh, as everyone was, uh, but basically, basically Hasashi, Hasashi said no, 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 no. It may be not like that. But because of Inko knowing that the people were gonna go after Izuku because Izuku looked like Mori Jin, and yes, Mujin Park is still afraid that because of him not stealing away that little nine-tailed brat 
who we all know as Ilopio Park. He managed to escape by stealing both of their powers. As Mujin Park was still planning on finding, of, of managing to find a way to seal away the powers of who, to to basically find a way to defeat, uh, to basically defeat. To basically defeat uh, the stage of the e the stage of the east, which we all know him as Morigen's one of Morigen's trustworthy best friends. So after that, after that, so after that, no one, and I mean no one would fight again. So the accident with Hasashi would still happen. Hasashi would die. And they went to do the testing, the quirk assessment. Izu Izuku and Izumi went to there. Izuku was marked as no borrow power and no quirk. All for one. <laughs> All for one was taken care of by Mujin Park. All Might still exists. He was healed by the nano nano machines that were used on the series of the Hagata High School. And the Mori Don the Mori Don arc will never happen because of Mori Mori Jin not being not being born. So basically the the part where Morijin will go berserk and his sis and the little girl would be the and the little girl would get her leg her, and the little girl's leg will be destroyed. No, 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 no. Don't worry, guys. I'm not that. I'm not that really bad. The girl, that little girl, like ne never got hurt because Morijin never went berserk, so we got lucky. So after that happens, we continue. As we keep going to the what if, we then go to the back to the quirk tip. Then Inko was Inko was then told by the quirk doctor, "Do you want the bad news or do you want the good news?" As Inko said, "I want the I want the good news. Your daughter Izumi has." Has a lot of power. She is basically one of the strongest girls in your family right now. <laughs> then everyone was like, "Oh!" As everyone was just like, "What the?" Heck? Not everyone. Only Zuku was like, "Wow, I'm proud of you, sis." So then, so basically, he, Izuku was. Even more surprised. Speed out to the fire. So then, so then after a few moments, so then after a few moments, Izuku. Maybe that's the fire. So then Izuku would basically. Have you guys heard that voice? I'm sorry. I really didn't know what the freak was going on. So then Izuku was then 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 basically who was it? Then uh, then Inko asked for the bad news, and they said the bad news. The bad news is your son Izuku Izuku, who was basically named by Hasashi Mido uh, Izuku Morijin. Izuku Mido Mido Morigen <laughs> Mi Izuku Mi Midoriya Morigen When when they heard when Inko heard that she was like you better you better you better be kidding as uh, Izu uh then how she said no I'm not kidding our son is gonna be named that everyone was even the doctor was like, you know that that could get him killed. The world government, it's after him. Even the world president, who is known as the hero, could be after him. 
then then the then everyone was like then everyone in the in the hospital was was just surprised and didn't say anything so after a few moments we continue the after that after that Inka remember that name and she was like you worthless little brat you won't make me any money as he as he just felt something bad coming from coming from his coming from his mother when he felt that it was basically his, his sense of of the two gods combined into one the sense of those two gods combined into one are really powerful. We all know that having two, having two godly senses combined into one could easily destroy anyone. Being a having two having two powerful things combined could easily, and when I mean easily, recognize whoever you are, hatred. Of, to someone whatever you want to do to them as Izuku was like oh no I have a bad feeling about this so we then see mo we then see two people we see someone in a white shirt we basically see someone in a white shirt and the other one in a sweater and they suddenly turn into their god forms we then see a monkey king and then and the nine tail guardian laughing at this then they say well while we do this might as well train our powers then 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 the other person who is who is basically who we basically know we know them as i we i won't say who they are since i already said them a lot of times basically then they said so let's train Ilopio. Then the other person smiled. They were fighting each other. Uh, a staff was then summoned. And then we hear expand. Then that was the end of it. As we go back to the, as we go back to, to as we go, as we go back to the, to the real world where we see, where we basically see, where we basically see. Inko dragging Izuku out of the out of the out of the hospital, taking him back, taking him back to the school, taking him back home. Uh, before they went back home, Inko took them to the park and told and basically told uh, and basically told Izumi to stay to stay in the car, knowing something was before anything happened. Inko told. Izumi what she was gonna do and Izumi was actually happy that this was going to happen because she didn't like her brother. She always knew that he was weak. And she never liked that her brother always had those weird type of eyes that were cross like me. It made him look like that like that villain, the demon lord, Mori Mori Jin as Izuku was really didn't want Izuku really didn't wanna be known known as that. But when Izuku was taken to the park, he sat down on the playground playing, uh, playing normally. Playing on the sandbox or whatever a kid of his age would do because he's basically four years old. <laughs> Who? What would a four year old kid do? I'm not four years old anymore. So I don't remember what I don't remember what I played when I was four years old. Oh yeah, we'll be playing with toys. I'll basically be playing with toys, so yeah. So he's in the park right now. So when Izuku, so when Izuku saw that, so when Izuku saw that, he just, he just played normally, doing nothing. So after that, we see one thing happening. Izuku was certainly, Izuku would would not see his mom after a few after one hour. He. So when Izuku did that, when Izuku sensed that he looked behind him where his mom's supposed to be sitting, but she wasn't there. 
as Isuzu was left in the park all by himself, as he just kept play play playing on the samba, but crying. So then we see. So then we see. Uh. So then, after a few minutes or hours, someone named Tajin Tajin Jin appeared. He looked exactly like the same Tajin Jin from the anime. He had a little gray hair, and he was still known as the same beast. As the beast was like this, so then he appeared in. He got a feeling that this is the reincarnation of his grandson. As he as he went for Izuku, knowing that he follow, he basically follow a fox-like shape made out of fire that appeared in front of him. And follow him to the park. So basically, so basically after this, Tajin Jin followed the fox that was created by by Elopio Park, who we also know as the Nine Tail Guardian. So basically, created a fox and told Tajin Jin to follow. When Tajin Jin Followed the fox. He was followed to Izuku, who was who looked exactly like Jin when he was a baby. And he, when he got Izuku, he went walking. When that happened, Izuku was like, "Hmm, who are you?" Uh, when Tajin then saw Izuku. He started to cry. So when that happened, so after that, so when that happened, everything was. So when that happened. So when that happened, Tejin then just hugged Izuku and said, I'm their grandfather and I'll be adopting you. Your mother your mother has left you, Izuku. As Izuku was like uh, As Izuku started to cry and cry and cry and cry. So after that So when that uh, so after that, Izuku, as we all know him, was taken was taken by Tejin Jin back to um to the mountains. As Tejin Jin was still practicing his re Taekwondo and everything, being a four year old kid and having the ability to copy a bit as techniques as we all know the monkey can could do that and Jin in Mori Jin even did it. Mori basically Izuku Izuku basically controlled Izuku basically control Izuku basically learned re Taekwondo real fast. He has been practicing for at least how long? Let me think. So he was star middle school. I never seen Mori Jin in middle school, so I'm going to skip straight to high school. Which basically Izuku's middle school year was it wasn't the same. He just spent years in the mountain, and as if you guys read on the in the manga, somehow Mori Jin was a top ranked student on his studies. Somehow, even though he was an idiot when it came to talking to people, <laughs> I still don't understand how you did it. So then after that. So then after that, <laughs> so then after that, Izuku and Tejin, we skipped to when Izuku was in high school, which is basically at 16 years old. So not 16 years old, 17, 17. <laughs> yeah, Mori Jin was 17 years old when he was in high school, so 17 years old it is. Izuku has mastered Wii Taekwondo to his fullest, to his fullest extent. 
Mujin Park didn't poison the food, making him, making, making him, uh, making him unlock his abilities like he did on the, like he did on the anime that he ate a fruit and he unlocked his ability. Izuku somehow remember some something called Morigen Origin. He just remember something called Morigen Original Twin Blue Dragon. Which Izuku just tried it once and it was known as Borrow Power. But it was Borrow Power because Tejin Jin couldn't sense it. That he couldn't see the Borrow Power that his own grandson was using. As Izuku was like, I don't think this is Borrow Power, grandfather. So basically, after that. No, everyone was still wondering why does this kid why does this kid look like this so when he so when I got a high school was starting the tournament was the same as in the anime after the 17 years they all had it to be in a certain forest right into the tank and this was the and this is to start the preliminary the race already happened this is a this is the arc where Mori Don would be created by Sorry to Mori Don, I don't really need him in this story. So then Mori Don, Mori Don would insist. So then Izuku was entering into the God of High School. His grandfather sent him to the city, just like he did to Mori. Sent him to the city to live on his own and told him to make many friends. As Izuku looked exactly like a... Uh, he, Izuku looked exactly like uh, Mori. His hair was black, the same as Mori. His hair was black, the same as Mori. His eyes were the same as Mori. Body shape, Mori, gen body. But his hair would have white tears when he goes to his full power form, which <clears throat> has 50 percent is basically his monkey form. Only fifty percent would basically. At least 25% would would basically be would basically be the incomplete the incomplete monkey form, which we all know is only his crown and the one glove that he added on his right arm on his no yeah on his left hand. So after that happened, Izuku. So after that, so after that, Izuku basically. Cab, you should be cab. What should I do? <laughs> so, Izuku, hmm, what can I say? But basically, Izuku was Izuku was basically accepted into the preliminaries because he won the race by no by doing nothing. But he was basically in the loser class. So basically, the clone was basically Mori How Mori How. Or Mori like that. I don't really know who he is. I can't say his name correctly because he's basically a clone that copied the name of the best clone alive. He risked his life to save the best people. So we can get a we can get a round of applause for the clone that replaced the, for, for the clone that replaced Mori Jin while he was stuck in the it was stuck in the in the floors of the gods. So then when you see, when the God of High School tournament started. Everyone was invited, and when I mean everyone, the world governor, the world governor, the world government, the sage of the east, and the witch of the west was there as well. They were all known as the three, the three supreme gods. In this story, they were all known as those, but they were enemies. They were just holding it for that. So when that happened, each of those three forces had their own little bodyguards. Whoever touches them will meet their doom. And I know that in the manga this never happened, but since this world has powers everywhere, everyone had to manage it. Even if you have a quirk, you can still jump. So then... So then, so this is what happened.
So this happened. After that, Isuku basically went into the tournament and was fighting a girl. And was fighting a girl. As a random girl with the uh, with really brutal strength. She basic she basically has really brutal strength. This is a random girl that I would never understand. Why did they have to create random girls and never explain their names, right? So basically, Isuku had... Isuku just basically looked at her and said... And said it quietly so no one hears them. Mori Jin Original. Blue Dragon. Sending out a giant dragon. Full force. Everyone was shocked because everyone in this world were at least able to see the dragon. Then he sent it straight at her. When when this happened, Isuku basically ended it right there. He sent her flying straight through one through the two to the one whole wall that happened. That was that was in the school. So in the whole in the whole tournament. As everyone was like, huh? Then Isuku just landed back again and smiled. As Mujin Park was like, <laughs> I think this is him. Then the state, then the stage of the East said, and I think this is him too. I think this is him too. Of the Witch of the West just nodded. As the Witch of the West just nodded. Since the Witch of the West nodded. So after that, everything was like, what? So when that happened, everything was like, oh, everyone was just like, damn. But no one would decided to report that this could be the actual Mori Jin or just a fake. As, as Mujin Park decided to bring a, the, a copy of basically of basically Elopio Park, who had it a, a who had it almost every power Elopio had it. When this happened. So when that happened, so when that, that happened, this is like this. <laughs> Izu, when they brought the copy out, Mujin Park told the referee to basically, and yes, the events that happened in the in the My Hero Academia world will still happen, just that I'm bringing them surely in a few surely in a few seasons, but I'm do, but I'm first doing the God of High School tournament. So that's why so basically they were accepted into the UA high. But basically Natsu and All Might are the bodyguard are basically Natsu was the scientist for uh, so I'm gonna pause real quick. So basically after that, Isuku. So basically after that, Isuku base Isuku then uh, Isuku then this then was summoned up first. It was that. So as Isuku was like, okay, why do you look so familiar? Why do he look so familiar? But no one, no one decided to do anything. So when that happened, everyone was so. So everyone just started confusing. Why was the fight a, a kid that was already finished fighting going again? 
because UA was on because UA was only chosen by people. UA was only UA was only for people that UA was only for people that were basically. Can I let me explain? For you to be in UA high, you had it to at least be a special kind of of student. You had to at least have a kind of power that can make you a UA high student. And Zuku, they were trying to test Izuku to see if he is strong enough to be chosen as a UA high student. So then, after this happened, Izuku was summoned up again. The god of high school was basically for those people who wanted it to become, to go to UA high. Or to other school. As he, then Izuku was the one there. Izuku was then said, Okay. Uh, as he started to stretch out his arms and stretch, Yusuku was even wearing the same clothes Mori would wear. His yellow and red and blue boots and his blue pants and and the white shirt that he usually wear. But Yusuku decided to change it up and put on and put on the red shoes and basically the white the white tank top that Mori would usually wear. So basically So after that was there. So after I was there. So after that was there, Mo Izuku came out and did something he remembered from a memory that he had when training with his grandpa. His head hurt a lot when he remembered this. It was basically something about about blood burst vessel. As he used one of them and then said Time and he, as he then said, blood vessel one times twenty five. So basically, Izuku created this technique. Instead of calling it the original name, Mori Jin would call it. He called it blood vessel. He then said, blood vessel times twenty five. As he hit, as he hit straight to his right to his right shoulder, it was ten times twenty five. He wouldn't really get hurt. As he used a lot of power because he sensed. That this one kid you can use a lot of power. So basically, Izuku was like, might as well not overreact and use a lot of power just in case. So basically, they should be proud that he's using this much power. Twenty-five percent, twenty-five percent is a, a lot for <coughs> a, a hybrid, a hybrid monkey and fox. So when everyone was about to do something, the copy of Ilopio Park went straight at Izuku and started to fight him around, thinking that Izuku was was the same way as Mori and started to teach him a few things and that. But Izuku was beating up the the, the freaking fake fox, as the fox at the end of the fight they were basically jumping around hitting each other. Izuku decided to use his re he re renewal taekwondo and started to fight with his feet not his arms as he started to hit around and around and around and around and around trying to get a at least one freaking hit on this bastard but it, it, he was dodging all of them and blocking them as he still got one hit with his arm and decided to use one of his own techniques as he then said as he then said, as he then called this, he then just called this fox, fox attack, which he then said, which he then said, hmm, fox attack, and he said, fox attack would be a great name, <laughs> maybe I should save that for later, yeah, as he, then he said fox attack, twin strike, as two large fox came out of nowhere when he, when Jin, Send out these two strikes at him, as Izuku as Izuku then appeared behind the fake Ilopio, that making two large fox appear in front of him again, sending him flying onto the ground. But before Izuku can do anything, the fake Ilopio part turned into his nine tail form. So after that, everyone was everyone was still 
everyone was still really confused on how a person is able to see a ninth tail fog. I was able to see the tails of the ninth tail. So after a few day, after a few minutes, the transformation was over. He had long white hair and the nine tail. This is the full powered nine tail. As he stupid just looked at him instead. Isn't this a god's power? What the frick? Isn't this supposed to be unfair? As he looked at the ju judges, which is Mujin Park, Mujin Park. I don't know why his name is Mujin Park. Uh. Ilo, which the Sage of the East was basically the Sage of the East and the Witch of the West. As uh, Izuku just started to dodge, Izuku just started to dodge freaking random fox coming straight at him. I see. He then. Then, and then he basically looked around and said, Oh, why am I dodging? As he jumped into the sky and then said, <laughs> Mori, as he then said, as fast as he can, Mori Jin original. He said it out loud as everyone was starting to know this might be the villain. As Izuku then said, Mori Jin original, twin blue dragon launching two 50%, 50% power. 50% of his power, meaning he was running, he wasn't gonna, never gonna run out of it. He's basically infinite amount of, <laughs> which I don't want to say he has infinite, but he still has to charge his power sometimes. Izuku then sent those two, but they were larger than the foxes. As he then said, fox, fox strike. As he then summoned, as he then did a, as he then did a large cross, sending it, sending it, sending it straight at it, sending it straight at the, at the body of the person. Then Izuku said, Oh no. Please help. As the then has the then large foxes combined with the dragon, giving the dragon a boost of fire. As the dragon then launched the foxes straight at the at the human at Elopia Park. As he fake as the fake Elopio Elopia Park just erased the foxes and the dragon as well. Then Izuku looked at, at him like, huh? Uh, I'm dead. I am absolutely dead. But before Izuku could do anything, he's like, oh no, this is the enemy. As Izuku then said, now, die. As Izuku then said, renew attack one though. First strike. Blood vessel times 45%. As he then strike them straight to the ground. Breaking, th breaking through the, through the fighting field sending him out as the fox then came out of him punch izuku sending him all the way to a wall slamming him as izuku came out as izuku came out just bleeding bleeding and hungry as he said oh i'm hungry as he then he's like oh So then Izuku said, mm. So after a few moments, Izuku got up again and looked at them and said, Okay, who the freak are you? So when Izuku did that, the, the fake Elopia Park sent Izuku flying one more time, sending a lot of fire attack. Kill, firing Izuku, hitting him almost everywhere. <laughs> so after, <laughs> so after that happened, Izuku was technically shirt broken, destroyed because. His body is made out of rock, as we all know. When you punch the Monkey King, you're basically punching solid rock. You're basically punching solid rock for everything. 
when you punch solid rock, everything seems really impossible to destroy. The Monkey King is pure solid rock, and you can't, and you can't, and when I mean can't, touch a Monkey King. So after that, Izuku basically got up from the ground and just smiled as lightning started to strike down. When lightning strike down, Isuku had it and Isuku had it an army. When the army and an armor an armor was around Isuku. This armor was basically the Monkey King's personal armor. As Isuku then suddenly Izuku's armor wasn't the regular armor. It was only the same first stage of the stage 2 when this armor appeared everyone was like the monkey king as Izuku said yahoo then a staff fell from the fell from the sky a giant staff came out of nowhere it went into the floor destroying the whole battlefield when this whole battlefield happened Izuku, Izuku was surprised when then the fake El Elopia Park was so surprised to see that that happened. As Izuku, as Izuku made Yahoo, which I can't say the name of the staff of his of Wu Kong is. So basically, the the name of the staff is named Ruji G. Jingu, Jingu Bang. But I basically, I think the England, the English version of Morigen's Morigen staff is basically, oh yeah, it is Ruji Jingu Bang. Is the mythical staff that Morigen called down from the moon. It appears as a sober staff, but basically. Mori Jinx is basically Ruji, which I think the English version is Yahoo. For now, I'll not call it Yahoo or Ruji. You guys choose. But it's basically Yahoo for now. Izuku then said that when everyone saw the staff larging up, the staff larging up and Izuku put it in his back, everyone saw the, re the, resemble the resemblance of him and the monkey cake. They both put it alike, and they were the, both the same height. They look alike. As he, as the stage of the East looked at Isuku and smiled and said, "Looks like he unlocked the form much earlier than Mori did. It took him a it took him a few it took him a few years to unlock him, but he unlocked it just by fighting him in his full power form." As Isuku said, mm, as he, as uh, Mujin Park said, as Mujin Park said, it's him. <laughs> it's him. I am. I am feeling. I am feeling so. I am feeling so much anger right now that I wouldn't mind taking it on him. As he was about to go do something, but then, but basically, but then, uh, but then, uh, the stage of the. The Sage of the East and the Sage of the and the Witch of the West said to do do not do anything. This is a competition between kids to challenge us, the three supreme god. As uh, Mujin Park did nothing. Because he knew that the Jade Emperor gonna erase him. But if he knows that if he tried anything, the world will go against them. This is the only time he was able to get out. As Izuku then summon lightning to hit to hit Ilopio as he then said You're you're not the real you're not the real nine tails So just die As he just said just just fall asleep as he then started to make blinding fall and fall and fall and fall on un unstoppable lightning as the Jim Mori inside of Izuku said was laughing as he said he summoned down my armor much earlier than I did. 
as as basically Izuku was like, oh my. As Mori Jane was laughing and saying, he summoned out Yahoo and he summoned down and he summoned out the lightning. Weird he didn't summon out the bottle. As Elopio Elopio Park, the real Nine Tail Guardian, was like, yeah. Even though he has your immortality, I only re I only use my power to reincarnate him. Meaning he's gonna have all your memories, all the name and everything. He looks exactly like you. He's gonna be both of us in one. He has your immortality and mine too. So basically, Mori basically Mori Jane wasn't meant to die, but it it, it had to happen because Ilopio Ilopio was basically an older brother for for Mori knew that if he didn't do this, Isu Mori would have killed would have destroyed something. As Isuku then said Yahoo As Isuku then said clone As all the clones as at least twenty clones appear and they all summoned out lightning. As is the real one then said expand and this is where I'm gonna leave it leave the video for you guys Thank you guys for watching. This is Phantom News here and goodbye